Hello and welcome to the TMJ Rehab app. I built this app mostly to make it easier for my patients to follow the 12-week program of functional jaw rehabilitation, which is the foundation of my practice. But I also hoped that by putting this app out there, I could reach a lot more people who are having difficulty with TMJ dysfunction. That being said, I highly recommend that you use some sort of orthotic device also known as a bite splint or mouth guard, as you work through this process. These devices come in many different forms and choosing the right one for you will depend on which structures are compromised in your particular situation. I categorize mouth guards according to their purpose and I've come up with four broad categories. We have directive orthotics, permissive splints, deprogrammers, and mandibular advancement devices. And each of these will have a different effect on your jaw. That means that as a dentist, if I'm gonna make you a mouth guard, I should have a theory about what's wrong, and then I should choose the appropriate type of mouth guard for that particular problem. If it works, then I was probably right. If it works over and over again in similar situations, then I can be pretty confident that I understand that particular problem and how to treat it. If it doesn't work, then I have to go back to the drawing board and figure out what's wrong with my theory. This is just basic scientific method. Now, if you have a directive orthotic, which is the most common type of device I make for my patients, then it's likely your dentist or TMJ specialist believes that your jaw joints are compromised in some way. If you have a mandibular advancement device or MAD, then it's likely you've been diagnosed with sleep disorder breathing or obstructive sleep apnea, or maybe even upper airway resistance syndrome. This means that when you fall asleep, your tongue, your soft palate, and your throat muscles all relax, and this tends to restrict your airway, sometimes even completely cutting off your ability to take a breath. This is what is known as obstructive sleep apnea. You may have a basic flat plane dental mouth guard, or what I would call a permissive splint. These devices are intended primarily to protect the teeth from damage from activities such as clenching and grinding. Finally, if intense contraction of the jaw muscles, particularly the temporalis muscles, is thought to be causing tension, headaches, or migraines as a primary symptom of yours, then you might have a variation of a deprogrammer, which is a type of mouth guard that doesn't allow the back teeth to contact at all. Any of these types of devices, as long as they were chosen appropriately for your particular condition, will be fine as an adjunct to this program. If you have an over-the-counter mouth guard or one that you sent away for after taking your own impressions, it's possible that this can work as long as you've adjusted it so that when you close, you bite into a neutral, comfortable, repeatable jaw position. This is what I call the zone of neutrality and it can sometimes be tricky to find. And if you don't have any mouth guard at all, you can still benefit from this program, but you may find that your jaw structures, if they're damaged, will continue to deteriorate over time because of nighttime clenching and or grinding. So welcome to the program and let's get started.